and I easily could be there for a month <laughs> with what I'm packing. But the last piece is of course, making sure that I take some great bags. I want to go to the Dior store and I want to be able to carry my bag that day. <laughs> Well, hello, welcome back to the House of Valentina fashion channel. Today is a very exciting day because I am packing for Paris. Technically, I am packing for Paris and Morocco, but I'm gonna share with you the Paris portion of this because uh, when we decided to book the trip to Morocco, we decided to do a layover in Paris and I was thinking, this is great. And then I realized that they have two completely different climates <laughs> and require two completely different uh, wardrobes. So 95 degrees compared to potentially still in the thirties in Paris, very different outfits that we're going to need. So I'm going to first pack for Paris. I'm going to be there for, I think three days and I'm not sure that I'm going to pack as smart as I could, if I'm being perfectly honest, because I wanna be able to wear what I wanna wear. <laughs> I wanna be able to change my outfit while I'm there, wear something during the day, wear something in the evening. Uh, I wanna be able to do what I want. So I may overpack just a little bit, but generally I will be able to get quite a lot into the suitcase and hopefully I'll be able to get the other half uh, from Morocco on the other side. But I'll show you what I'm uh, what I'm planning on taking with me and how I packed for Paris. Uh, I hope it'll be a lot of fun and uh, just some good outfit inspo. When I started to think about Paris, I realized I kind of dress like I live in Paris like all the time. Like that's just kind of my, my outfits that I normally wear. So a lot of these are outfits that I would wear here in Atlanta, uh, being in more of an urban setting anyways, and uh, this is just a lot of fun. So I hope you'll hit subscribe. If you haven't already, and this is your first time dropping in, or if you haven't and you've been stopping by quite a bit, we hope you'll hit subscribe because our channel is about to hit 25,000, and that is so cool. I just love it. So let's jump in, shall we? First of all, I've got my trusty, uh, amazing. These are Samsonite suitcases. These are amazing. They really are just so durable. I bought them off Amazon originally. Uh, I will try to find a link for you guys. I, the sun is literally setting, so I may have to turn the lights on if we don't, if I don't talk really fast <laughs> and pack. <laughs> it's the speed packing right now. Uh, but yeah, anyways, uh, I bought these and I've been using them for a while. I think about a year and it's just been one of the best purchases. It, I love it because it also comes with the medium size and it comes with the carry-on size. All right, so first up, I do have a couple things that I keep in these bags. That way when it's time to go, I am ready. I just realized though that I don't have the carry-on size. I'll have to grab that in a minute. I have the large and I have the medium, but obviously I'll need the carry-on as well. So I might be able to get everything into these two for the entire trip if I feel like I need to. But I am hoping still that I can get everything into one suitcase. But when it comes to toiletries, I have a couple little bags. I have this one that came with my bathing suit a few years ago from Dolce & Gabbana. I have a gorgeous bathing suit, totally worth the money. It's like just next level quality. And it came with a really cute little bag. So a lot of times I put my toiletries, I need a couple bags, right, for toiletries. Uh, so I've got this one and then I have a little set that I bought off of Amazon and I just love it. It comes in a couple sizes. Uh, it seems like I can really just get everything. It seems like I can really just get everything I need into these two. But I also uh, found on Amazon that this little set has been absolutely amazing. What I do is I pack everything into these little cubes and it's super organized and it just makes such a difference when you open your suitcase and everything is very organized inside. So uh, I will definitely be using these on this trip for Morocco and for Paris and you can kind of see how it comes in a little set. It also comes with the shoe sleeves and I don't know where those are right now. So I'll have to hunt those down as well. But for now, um, definitely look into buying these because they are amazing and they really just help you keep everything organized in there. And then I always take my face, these are anti lux face tanning uh, little drops that I use. I'll put that on before I put my foundation on. That way I can get kind of a nice bronzed look and just look kind of glowy <laughs> and not pasty, which would be the norm for this time of year. So this is one of my favorite toiletries that I take with me. And then I've also got 
uh, maybe, I, I don't know, do other people do this? I think about the perfume that I'm gonna take on the trip, what I'm gonna be wearing the whole time. Byredo sells some of the most amazing fragrances and this is definitely going to be mine for the Paris part of this trip. And then I'm gonna have a separate one for the Morocco side of things. And then I also am taking my Christian Dior palette. Oh my gosh, I just love to be able to create the whole look. So that's what I'm trying to do is a few essentials. I'm gonna have my perfume, I'm gonna have my jewelry, and I'm gonna make sure that everything I've got is just gonna mix and match so I can extend the life of my clothing as much as I can. So if I wanna change my outfit a couple times, easy peasy, I'll be able to do it. So those are definitely going in there. But this one is amazing because it comes in all of these gorgeous pinkish colors. And I have been wearing this nonstop the last few weeks and I am wearing it today. I know you can't really tell because the light in here isn't that great, but it's just beautiful. And so I know that this is gonna look great with everything that I've brought with me. So yeah, that I'm actually gonna leave out because I'm gonna keep using it before I go. Uh, the other things that I take with me, I like to have a lipstick lip combination. So this is the Victoria Beckham. The, her lip liner is absolutely amazing. I'd heard good things about it and then just went for it. Uh, this is number two. I was trying to find the color for it. I've got that little Dior. Let's see, this is 505. This is one of my favorites because the container comes in this gorgeous matte black container and uh, it's just an amazing neutral color. I love having a nude lip and that will definitely go with all my looks here. Knowing me, I'll probably grab the classic Dior red lipstick as well. I'll link all of these items down below for you in case you wanna grab something out of what I've got but it's always like my favorite things, right? Like you, like we as Americans, like going to Paris is a big deal. When we lived over in Europe, it wasn't that hard to get to Paris. It was a quick, you know, $50 flight from Copenhagen to go to Paris, but it's not that from Atlanta. It's a big deal. So I'm, I wanna make a big deal out of it and have a lot of fun. The other thing I'm taking is the Forget the Filler lip gloss. I just love this stuff. I think it just really works really well and uh, it's amazing. So yeah, those are all going in my toiletries. And then I always put my jewelry. I've got this really cute little box that I got from Coach. I absolutely love this because, first of all, the leather is gorgeous. I've carried this literally all over the planet. I've had it for a few years now, but it's great because inside, I can stash all of my earrings and things so they're not just laying around in here. They're not, you know, in a bag or something. I really want them to be protected. So we're kind of working our way down from like the little stuff to the really big stuff. Uh, but some of the ones that are going in here, I think I'll probably wear the little Dior ones. Probably wear these on the airplane is what I'm thinking. And then I've got these really, really pretty ones, the little triangles that I got off of Massimo Duty. So they're really affordable. And then I also got this little pair that's so pretty. I love that little brown bit on them and I just thought that was such a cute little hoop. Like little hoop. And then I also have this pair that's by Anina Bing. I love kind of like the 80s feel to those. I just feel like that's what all the ladies wore in all the movies in the 80s and so yeah, I just love them. So I'll have a few pairs of earrings. I don't wear a lot of other stuff so I'll probably just wear like my regular bracelet, the little V one that I wear. I'll probably just wear on the airplane my watch that I normally wear and that's gonna be enough. And maybe an extra headband. I got these off of Amazon and I kind of just love them. I think it just adds a little something to your hair and just makes you feel a little bit more dressed up. Like you've just made an effort and all you did was put a headband on. Yeah, that will definitely be going with me. The other thing that I also have sitting here is my little portable beauty light. This thing comes with a little charger and so literally just off of Amazon and it's great because I'll try not to blind, let me turn it this way so I don't blind you. It's just literally a tap on and it's got a couple options. So just in case the hotel doesn't have great lighting uh, or if you, I usually carry this actually in my carry-on in case I'm on the airplane, just wanna touch things up before I get off the airplane. Uh, this is an amazing little find on Amazon. And then of course, don't leave the country without a great umbrella. Just a couple little Amazon finds that are just really nice to have in the bag and feel prepared. 
What else? Okay, so uh, shoes. I am taking my New Balance sneakers. These are crazy popular and I finally got a pair. I've been trying to get a pair of these for so long, but I think they look really good with suits. They look good with just like little leather trousers or jeans. And so I just think they're just such a great sneaker. And these are ones that Europeans are wearing. And so you don't look like too American wearing them. <laughs> <laughs> but that way we can actually be comfortable running around all day. I do recommend that you uh, always try your shoes on and wear them around the house. Don't ever take a new pair of shoes on a trip. I've got these beautiful Aquazura little heels. I'm in love with these. These are definitely for nights out. Gotta have your footwear in order and when in Paris, gotta have a heel. So I think these are gonna be amazing. I love the little pineapple on the bottom and they are actually really comfortable and I think that they will look amazing with the suits and the skirts and you know going to dinner where you know you're not going so far and actually walking around as much those are essential and then I think I'm going to take two more pairs of shoes because of course when you're in Paris you're you know you're running around you're gonna be walking a lot and so I was thinking I might bring these these are just my little H&M ones and I live in these little slingbacks. I think they're just really easy to wear, easy to run around in, and I am very comfortable in these. So I am more likely to wear these than the sneakers, but I need a couple options. And then I'm also bringing my little Ralph Lauren loafers. Kind of hard to tell because it's getting dark in here. I'm probably gonna have to turn the lights on in a minute. But uh, yeah, I just love these. I bought them from Ralph Lauren and of course, suede protection. I'll leave a link for the one that I've been using. But, oh, <laughs> somebody's home. <laughs> but anyways, all of these are going into the suitcase. Then as far as undergarments, I've got a skin color, little uh, seamless bra, and then I've got one in black. I go everywhere with those. Then I also, I won't show you, I won't show you everything, but I have this gorgeous little set with the little leather on it. And I was thinking that is gonna be fun for a night out. Actually, I wear this during the day, honestly. And the little uh, underwear just match it. So it's really, really fun. And it's actually really comfortable. And uh, I've also got this one with the lace on it. I just feel like you just, I don't know. When I go on vacation, I just wanna feel like my best. And so undergarments are the place to start. Uh, and so each of these I have the matching underwear for. So pop those into the suitcase. I've also got my velvet, my black velvet robe. This one's by Ralph Lauren, but they sell something similar on Amazon. So I, I will leave a link for you guys, but I wanna have my own robe. I just like having my own robe. Is that weird? They do usually have the white ones. If I'm desperate, that's probably the one thing I will have to take out. <laughs> I have put too many things in there. Uh, then I've got my pajamas from Amazon. I've been wearing these non-stop. I just love them. They're just so comfortable. They're so soft. I love the stripe detail in them. And yeah, I think that they are amazing. So uh, I, I'm, I'm picturing pictures in the hotel in Paris, of course. I think in pictures. But not only are they super photogenic, but they're gonna be super soft and feel very luxurious. Let's get to the good stuff, shall we? I am so excited about packing. Uh, I am going to have to take a coat. I have not decided if I'm going to take this one. This is one I bought at H&M, but it actually has, it's a wool blend, but it's actually really, really cozy. And I am either gonna take this one or I'm leaning towards taking the Karen Millen. The truth is, is that the Karen Millen is actually a lot warmer but it's also heavier, like it's physically heavy and I'm worried that the suitcase might be a little bit overweight. So I think that I'm gonna end up taking the black one because that will definitely be the warmer option for me, but I may end up taking the one from H&M just because I have to take something and I'm worried that it's gonna be overweight. I'd rather have shoes because your feet being comfortable, you know, is really important, uh, but you know, I'm only gonna take one of those. So uh, if I have to save weight, I'll take the lighter one. The other thing I've got is this absolutely beautiful coat, little jacket. I can actually show this one to you guys. I got this one from Massimo Duty, and I was thinking that this just felt so beautiful for that sort of cool French kind of feeling during the day when it's maybe in the 50s with a little breeze. I might wanna have a little suede jacket. 
I just freaked out over this. I just thought that it was just the prettiest thing I'd ever seen. And it's just kind of modern and classic and just so cool. And it'll pair with each of the trousers that I'm bringing on the trip. So I'm kind of giving myself a few options. This would, mm, I could technically also have this in Morocco with a little pair of like linen white pants. Hopefully I'll get to film that before I go. <laughs> Otherwise, I'll just show you when we get there what I took with me. Uh, then I've got a few top options. I'm gonna bring the black silk top. Nice thing about these tops is that they pack so light. And this one's from Lily Silk and I wear it all the time. And then I've also got a little tank top. I got this one from Jonathan Simkai. And I just love, did you guys see? Yeah, this is, this is one of the ones from the Jonathan Simkai video I showed you a couple weeks ago and I decided to keep this one and I'm gonna take the other one for Morocco. So this can go underneath the little blazers. It can go underneath the suede jacket. If I need to, I can always layer up a little bit more. You know how it is, right? Uh, the other one that I have, this one is from Banana Republic. It's a little ribbed top and I was thinking, okay, this will be perfect with all the trousers that I'm about to show you. And I found this really cute little pleated skirt at Kos. So that is on my list take as well. I just thought it was so pretty and I love this sort of caramely color and I thought that it would be so pretty either with the white or the black. And I'm giving myself a few options, but none of this weighs very much. And so that way I have like, I have everything I need. I can switch my outfit out as many times as I want and I'm still gonna be excited about what I'm wearing. Then I've got this beautiful little piece. This is from Massimo Duty. It's a little vest piece and it's got the little belt on it. And I just fell in love with this idea. I'm just picturing walking the streets. That's what I'm picturing. It's the backdrop for all these outfits. And I thought this would be beautiful with the black leather pants that I'm taking. This could also go with the suit pants, uh, white or black. So a few options there. And I could uh, layer it up. I may need to grab a little turtleneck. Oh, uh, like the one I'm wearing. I think I'll take this one. It's like a really light, I bought it off of Amazon. It's really, really light. It's like a second skin. So I think I'll take this one. I'll wash it and take it with me. This is why I like to pack in advance because I need to be thinking through what needs to be washed. If I'm missing something, I like to do that in advance. So I've got the suit pants. This is an Ellie, this is Ellie Tari. It actually fits me really, really well. If you are petite, uh, this was an easy, did not require any tailoring. So that is a really big deal if you're petite. Just fit me so nicely. There you go. I've got the little jacket that goes with it and I was just thinking, oh, this looks like so French. I'm gonna be finding the little white and beige kind of color, little backgrounds and all, you know the buildings and I'm just picturing this little suit. So I've got the trousers that go with that and I will throw the blazer in as well. Then I was also thinking that I would take this one. This is just a little Zara find, but I thought that this would also be super cute with like either jeans. I might have to just take my jeans that I'm wearing now and just throw them in there. Have a pair of jeans, have a pair of black leather pants and two suits and a skirt. That's maybe too much. I may have to decide <laughs> what I'm gonna take out because I also bought this little jumper I think I'm gonna have to take the jumper out. I don't think I'm gonna need it. I think I'm gonna have too many things. This might end up going for Morocco though. Maybe I'll just pop up the picture of that one for you so you can kind of see. I think I'm gonna set that one over to the Morocco side of things. Another thing that I got are these little pleated leather trousers. They're actually faux leather. These are from the Frankie shop and I love the pleat in them. I love how they really look like a trouser and I, I just love them. So these would go with each of the tank tops. I could put the turtleneck with it. It'll go with each of the different blazers that I've got here. So yeah, I think that these are absolutely gorgeous and I like the versatility. So even though we're gonna be there like three or four days, you just never know. So I always at least like to have a little bit more with me. Uh, if you get stuck there, things like that have happened to us before. So I like to be mindful of where we're going and make sure I have enough options. And then the other one is the little white suit. Oh, I'm so excited about this. Let me show it to you. I have the trousers out right now at the tailor. I had to lop off about six inches off of them. So Massimo Duty does come a bit larger, but I just think that once you kind of like pull your hands up and stuff like this, like even a petite girl can still wear something like this. And I just need to wear, 
I don't know why, to me, Paris is all about suits. Like I just wanna wear a suit the whole time I'm there. And so yeah, I've got a couple little blazers like these that'll go with me and that way I have a few options. That way I have something for the day and then I feel like I can switch out for the night and I easily could be there for a month <laughs> with what I'm packing. But the last piece is of course, making sure that I take some great bags. I want to go to the Dior store and I wanna be able to carry my bag that day. <laughs> So I'm gonna take this one. I love the Bobby bag. It's just the most amazing bag, honestly. I'm so pleased with the purchase. It's so comfortable just to hold you know, over the shoulder or just carry it on the arm. It's just beautiful. It's got the little detail on the back with the Montaigne kind of like raised on the leather back there. And then easy flap open. I've got my card holder in here that matches it as well. It, technically it's not matching since it's quilted, but everything fits in there. And I have these little hand sanitizers that I like to take because I want to make sure nothing's going to spill in my bag. This is the Touchland and this, it smells really good. I actually need to order some more. See, this is why I pack in advance. Uh, then I'm going to take this one as well. I think I'm going to take this one as well. I haven't decided for sure, but I'd really like to be able to photograph it in Paris. Like I just want to carry it in Paris. I don't know. Is that silly? I just love the little toile de jouy on it. I think it's just beautiful. And this is such a classic. I love the little hardware on it and the little Dior that hangs down. And yeah, I just absolutely adore it. I think it's just the most amazing piece of art. And it's a fun, it's a fun way to upgrade your outfit too. Then I'm gonna definitely take the Alexander McQueen. I think this will really just give me a nice evening look. And I love the fact that I can just get my cards in here. It's got the little chain if I want to throw it over my arm. This is the wallet on the chain. Uh, but I also have the small bag in white. I think I just want to take the black for this trip. But both sizes are really great. So they, they've actually started to sell out. Yeah, so I just think it's a really nice little evening look. And I just really love it. So, so there you go. That is what I am packing for Paris. I've got the little bag that I showed you. I kept this one from Mango. Uh, I want to be able to take this with me to Morocco. So that's sitting here, but hopefully I will get to showing you what I packed from Morocco as well, because I have so many beautiful things that I've ordered some and then some things that are right out of my wardrobe. And so it's just, I'm, I'm so excited. I almost can't stand it, but I'm also a little bit nervous because it's been a while, you know, it's been about a year since we've been uh, back to Europe and it's always just like, you know, you get so nervous and excited and everything's happening at once. So yeah, I'm, I'm super pumped. So I will leave as link. I will leave down below the links for all the items as best as I can. Make sure you hit subscribe and give the video a thumbs up. I hope to be filming for you and with you from Paris and Morocco. So definitely stay tuned. I don't want you to miss out on all that fun content that is coming your way. But uh, for now, I've still got my water sitting here. That definitely goes with me as well because I am the worst about when I'm traveling, not getting enough water. And I know that if I have three to four of these every day, I will not get a bladder infection. So that way stay healthy, stay hydrated. And so, yeah, I will literally take this in my carry on. I drink it right before I go through security and then I fill it back up on the other side. So that way I make sure I have enough water, but that's just a little tip from, from me as a, <laughs> a world traveler, you need your water because it really does make a huge difference. So, all right, there you go, guys. That's it for now. I'm going to go hunt down my coffee and uh, finish packing. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.